I I remember when I was um, I guess like maybe in like 2000, 2001, when I was buying Guitar World and like some guitar magazines and I would see write-ups on you and I was just like, who is Orianti? Like, I need to know who you are. And it was just like so cool to, fa- to like find a woman who is shredding. Like you were up there with like Dave Mustaine for me, who is an incredible guitar player. And you know, it wasn't just that you were like beautiful and you had these beautiful guitars. Like you can actually like deliver. And I always wanted to ask you what, what is it like being a woman in a pretty male dominated field? Have you had any mentors and you know, like have there been any women that you met across the way that kind of took you under your wing? Um, yeah. I mean, it wasn't easy. You know, when I first started um, playing guitar, there wasn't very many female guitar players. So it's kind of like a gimmick kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like they saw, oh, you know, playing guitar. And, and it's kind of like, I was like wearing a bow tie or something like that. Or, and guys kind of like their arms folded. Like, what are you going to do? Like, you really going to play? Like, and, and so as soon as you like play something like you mean it and look, guitar for me has been a form of expression for me, you know, since I picked it up, you know, it's been my meditation and everything. So um, I just love it. And it's not, a competition for me it's not it's a, it's a spiritual victory it's like i want to get better and better for myself um i don't actually look at other, other people for inspiration you know what i mean because i think we're all so different we all have different fingerprints as players um and i think that's a beautiful thing and and, and i've learned a lot from steve Vai was definitely a big mentor for me when i was 15 and he uh when i first opened for him and then you know we exchanged emails and i would send him demos and he was really sweet and he's an uncle with me i mean he's like family I've known him since i was like 14 you know god like um half my life basically more than half my life and um and so yeah um and he used to send me notes about my demos how i could improve how things could be you know things are great in this area maybe in this part of the song you should change it go and it was awesome that he took the time i mean he didn't have to do that shit so i'm very grateful for that santana as well um you know there's been quite a few and obviously the people that i've worked with like Alice Cooper, Mark Jackson, um, you know, A.R. Rahman, everyone that I've collaborated with, Dave Stewart, everyone, um, they've always, you know, kind of pushed me artistically um, to change the way I approach things. And um, I've learned a lot. Um, Jennifer Batten has been, you know, when I got the gig with Mark, she was very supportive and really sweet. Nancy Wilson, I've met a few times and she's awesome. Um, God, I mean, there's women in this industry that I really admire and look up to and not guitar players, more like Stevie Nicks or Annie Lennox or people like that. Or, you know what I mean? It's like, um, Cher, you know what I mean? Like, um, uh, Madonna to a certain extent. Um, so there's a few, like, I just look at these women that are strong and have, you know, changed, evolved, 